Okay, hi everyone. I'm just going to explain a little bit about how I do this silk stitch. So you can see that I've already put some horizontal stitches across the fabric for the area that I'm going to cover. Now I do that because it helps me to keep everything running straight and parallel um, and it can be a really useful tool if you're turning a corner and doing silk stitch but obviously for this we're just going straight so that makes it a bit easier. Um, you can also notice that I'm not necessarily starting at the start of each section. I jump around a little bit. That's just because I like to do that to keep everything evenly spaced out. It's not necessary. You can just do silk stitch running completely in a line with your next stitch next to the one before. It's really up to you. It's just a personal preference and it's just how I like to do it. So obviously still going, going down this wing, um, when I get to the stitching, the red stitching, I'm trying to go in as close to that, the edge of that as possible. Um, so there's not a gap, because if there's a gap, then I'd have to fill it in later. Um, and when I get to the bottom of it, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the wing and then come up and get this section that I'm leaving out. Um, and I'm going to work that section in the opposite direction um, and the reason I'm going to do that is because it, it means I'm always working it parallel to the stitching that's come before rather than working it from top to bottom because I feel like you would make less mistakes doing it the way I've done it but again it's personal preference and it's really up to the person stitching it how they want to tackle this. I haven't edged the silk stitching on this hoop. Um, I decided that it, that it wasn't necessary. I have, if you see my dolphin hoop, I have edged the stitching on that one, uh, mainly because I'd left gaps so I could deliberately edge it, but I don't think that this one needs it, so I'm just going to leave it with the raw edges as it is. So just coming back to fill in this section that I've left, um, quite small stitches here, and coming up next to the red fabric because I'm going from right to left for some reason. Um, again, as close to the red as possible so that I'm not leaving any gaps and as close to this sort of greeny gold bit as I can get so that again, there are no gaps. I hope you found this interesting. Please let me know what you think so I can improve next time.